Today we create a slicing up animation in After Effects. Boom! Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we are going to take a look at creating a really nice and creative sliced up animation in After Effects which is really simple and easy to create. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition. Let's rename this to main comp. 1920 into 1080 60 fps 10 seconds looks good and hit ok here i have an image that i'm going to be using you can use an image or a footage whatever that you like and let's create a composition for our image this is going to be our media placeholder so let's rename this to media so you can anytime you know replace it with an image or a video as well so there we have it and let's drag in the image into the media placeholder let's scale this down a bit because it's a big image somewhat like that let's go into the main composition and let's drag in the media composition into the main composition and then right off the bat what i'm going to do is select the pen tool and start creating some random strokes or slices like this now you don't need to be precise at all you can just do it very very randomly so i'm just doing you know this really randomly and then close this up now it's very important to close this up so make sure you know where the starting point is so here we have it you can anytime you know move it if you want to depending on what kind of look that you are going for so now we have something like that so let's select the layer and hit M to bring down the mask properties let's click right over here and now I can animate this just like that so you guys get the idea of what I'm doing right over here so what I'm going to do is let's go to 2 seconds or maybe 2 seconds and 30 frames and let's place this to around let's say 1 pixels create a keyframe on the mask ex expansion let's go at the very beginning and let's bring this down just till the time all the shapes are disappeared just like that so now we have a basic animation like this as you can see really really simple select the keyframes and hit f9 to ease, ease those keyframes go to graph editor select this curve and let's create a curve just like that by dragging this handles like that so we have a really nice and smooth looking animation as you can see then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the layer and hit ctrl d to duplicate this layer and hit m to bring down the mask properties and set this from add to subtract then just click on this triangle i guess triangle icon and let's go to right over here and set this to minus one then go back in time and set this to plus two to six and maybe i'll increase this a bit more just so that we don't have any shapes so now we have this really cool looking animation as you can see the first layer is set to subtract and the second layer is set to add so we have two shapes which are you know revealing the revealing the composition the media composition if I hide the mass layer you can see we have some really nice looking animation and it's really abstract and simple to create now let's go ahead and start adding some details to this so the first thing that I'm gonna do is select this layer or you can select any layer hit ctrl D to duplicate it and this is gonna be the stroke layer so let's rename this to stroke make this red or something like any color so that you can you know see it more properly and let's add a stroke to it just like that and set this to on transparent then we can just play around with some properties let's set the brush size to maybe one let's set the spacing to around five percent and let's change the brush hardness to zero so now we have something like that maybe i'll increase the brush size to two pixels that looks a bit more cool and then we can play around with the end property to animate the stroke just like that as you can see it looks really really cool so what i'm going to do is let's go at the very beginning 
and bring the end property all the way down to zero create a keyframe go to maybe let's go to two seconds and set this up to 100 then create a keyframe on the opacity go to two seconds and 30 frames and set this to zero so let's select the layer and hit U so we can see the keyframes let's select these keyframes and hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes and let's see what we have yup this is looking pretty good I'm happy with it let's see it yup this is looking really really nice you can also add some scaling animation as well so let's pre-comp this pretty quickly so let's select the layers and pre-comp it and you can call it anything you want I'm just gonna call this 01 for now and then what I can do is I can just duplicate this layer by hitting Ctrl D, change the color so we can just see it more properly and then displace the first layer by a few frames, maybe 10 frames and on the second layer I'm gonna add a fill so let's add a fill effect and you can change the fill effect to any color that you like that goes along with the image so maybe I'll go with something like that looks really really cool as you can see or you can always keep this to white as well if you want to go with that kind of an effect as you can see looks really cool but I'm gonna go with this colored effect make it a bit lighter something like that and it is really simple and easy to create and you can create your own slideshows as well with creating different kind of shapes it can be you know something like a circles or stuff like that you can create like limitless unlimited shapes with the slicing effect you know just select the pen tool and just randomly create cuts to create this really cool effect and this is the same exact technique how I created that really cool looking text reveal as well so yeah it is the exact same way so I'm not going to show you the text reveal cause it is just the exact same you know way to create this and it is as you can see it is really simple you can even make it look more complex by adding more strokes if you want to and one more thing that you can do is you can also add a drop shadow so to add this I can just add a drop shadow and increase the distance a bit just like that and increase the softness and this would give a little bit more depth to the scene as you can see making it look really really cool add some color corrections as well so pretty quickly if I just add a new adjustment layer and add a vignette pretty quick so let's name the CC and let's add a curved adjustment let's bring this all the way down something like that select the ellipse tool and just double click on it so it's gonna create an ellipse like that invert this up and feather this up all the way just like that and you can also play around with the opacity to control the vignette effect something like that this thing would make it look really really nice and cool as you can see so it's a really simple effect maybe I can also add a glow maybe let's see I don't know if it would look good or not but let's you know, try to add a glow Oh yep, that is looking pretty good. Maybe I'll increase the threshold a bit. Something like that. You can see the lights are getting affected really nicely. You can see making the image pop a bit. And of course you can use a video as well. That would look even more better. And as you can see the strokes are getting glowed up. So this is looking really really good actually. You can see play around with the glow as well. So maybe I can you know also play around with the radius of the glow. So let's maybe I'll increase this a bit and we can animate the radius so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this to all the way up very very high and bring this down something like that let's go and cre create a keyframe on the glow threshold and the glow radius go to around let's say three seconds and let's bring this down just like that and the radius down just like that so we have a really nice and subtle glow animation as well so yep it is a really simple and easy to, way to create this cool animation and i hope it helps you guys and don't forget to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in my next video till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative